A new era dawns for the United States Air Force. We are trying to show that the F-35 is the future. The F-35A Lightning II, the world's most advanced combat aircraft powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 propulsion system, has achieved Initial Operational Capability, or IOC. After 15 years of system development and design, more than 46,000 hours of engine ground and flight testing, and more than 65,000 hours of flight, the F-35 has proven it's more than ready for the mission. It is the real deal, and that's really what we want to showcase to people, is that this plane is everything it's advertised to be. A large cadre of airmen at Eglin, Edwards, Nellis, and Luke Air Force bases have been putting the F-35 to the test. And now congratulations are in order for the men and women of the 388th and 419th Fighter Wings at Hill Air Force Base, Utah, who are the first to fly and maintain the first operational squadron of F-35As. It's reliable, it's safe. The F-35A is the latest addition to the Air Force's fleet of deployable and fifth generation aircraft. And with more than 40,000 pounds of thrust from its propulsion system, the F-35 has the most powerful fighter engine ever fielded. The program today, you know, everyone thinks that the F-35 is some new program with a few airplanes operating at flight tests. But in reality, we have over 180 airplanes that fly every day. Uh, Pratt Whitney is there to support uh, the operations, and we're achieving great readiness and reliability today. Last summer, the United States Marine Corps declared the F-35B had achieved initial operational capability. The U.S. Air Force now joins the Marine Corps in proving the F-35A is combat ready. And when you really think about what IOC means, it means now that the combatant commanders that are out there, so all these senior leaders, have the F-35 at their disposal for any capabilities that the F-35 can bring to the fight. So now you get that stealth, that advanced avionics that the fifth generation aircraft is so known for out there. In 12 months time, the F-35 program has achieved significant, if not memorable, milestones. From the Marine Corps' IOC announcement in 2015, to the 2016 international debut of the F-35 in the Netherlands and UK air shows, and a successful June deployment to Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho, the F-35 is proving it's ready for the spotlight and the workload. I think you're going to see uh, that America now has two services that are ready to employ uh, the F-35 in a moment's notice. And that's really a game changer for our ability to project our force. The United States Navy is slated to announce IOC in 2018. And while there will always be refinements, improvements as technology evolves, the F-35 and the F-135 engine that powers it are now officially prepared to usher in the next wave of military aviation. The best engine is the one that you don't have to think about, right, and that delivers you all the power that you want when, when you need it and that's what this engine does. It really is a huge step. I don't think people understand when you talk about IOC that we are now out there. We are now available to fight the wars that we are fighting, not only today, but also in the future.